welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how to play Suicide Blonde by NXS on electric guitar. The guitar is tuned standard E, A, D, G, B, E. NXS is a three guitar band, so we will be using three different guitars for the various parts. The first part will go something like this. For the intro, we'll play three chords. E, G, and A. We'll play them this way. E, G, A, E, G, A. And that's our intro. The next part will sound something like this. For this part, we'll need to use a tremolo pedal. I've hooked up my Dan Electro Filthy Rich tremolo pedal, and we've got the speed set at 3 o'clock. We've got the depth turned all the way up, and we're using the soft setting. It's going to sound like this. For this part, we'll strum a few chords just once. We'll play an E minor 7 by placing a finger on the A string 2nd fret and strum it this way. Then we'll move up to the 12th fret and we'll play an E minor 7 by holding down the D, G, B, and high E string and play this. The next thing we'll do is go up to the 12th fret and play an E minor harmonic chord by playing the G, B, and high E string like this. In order to get that harmonic, I'm placing my finger across the 12th fret right on top of the fret. And playing the strings, I'm just touching them barely and then I'll let them go like that. That's my E minor harmonic at the 12th fret. Next I'll go to the open strings and play an open G chord like this. And then I'll end up with an E minor chord like this. So what I'm after is this. I went to the D string, strummed straight down, open, and then I played an E minor chord. Now while the Telecaster plays those chords, a second rhythm guitar will be playing something like this. That first chord is an E minor 7 formed by holding down 
the D, G, B, and high E string at fret 12. And the second chord is an A chord. We'll make that by going to the 14th fret and holding down the D, G, and the B string. When I play the A chord, I'm muting the high E string with my finger, like that. So here's our strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. And we went to our A. So it's down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. Next is our main rhythm part, and it's going to sound like this. For that part, we're starting with an E minor 7 here at the 12th fret. We're going to take a, the ring finger and move it to the 14th fret, holding down the same chord. That's an E minor 13. And then we'll play with the little finger, the 15th fret. And we've got an E minor 7 again. So here's our strumming pattern. That's an A, an A chord right there. That's at the 14th fret. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down. And that will get us into the main part of the song, which is going to sound like this. Now near the end of the song, we'll play some easy lead riffs that'll sound like this. For riff one, we'll play this. For that riff, we simply went to the B string, third fret, played it twice, and then played the open strings, E, B, E, and then three on the B string, open, E string, three, open E string. So that's. Riff 
Riff number two will sound like this. That was the twelfth fret, high E string, sliding down. The twelfth fret, B string. And then the tenth fret on the high E string, sliding down. The tenth fret on the B string. And then the twelfth fret on the B string, sliding down. And then we're going to go to the eighth fret on the B string. And then the tenth fret, sliding down, and then open high E twice. And for the last part of it, we'll play this. So that was that was 12 on the high E string, 10 on the high E string, back to 12, and then 12 on the B string. And then we'll change it. We'll end that whole thing by striking the B and high E string three times at the 12th fret. And then we'll go back into that. And that takes out the entire song. Now all the parts that we just learned are repeated throughout the song. So that's all you need to know in order to play Suicide Blonde by NXS on electric guitar. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.